Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. So we're gonna jump right in. For this video, I have already done my eyebrows and my eyeshadow look. If you're interested in seeing how um, this look was created, you can check out those videos. There are two separate ones, one for the eyebrow tutorial and one for the eyeshadow look. This video, we are doing the face. No foundation, no liquid foundation is gonna be used. We're just using concealer. To highlight and contour, powder to set it, um, a little blush and highlight. So it's going to be a really natural look, um, you know, almost basically almost looking like you just have really good skin. And I love that look. So I already went in with the e.l.f. under eye um, hydrating, hydrating primer. Now I'm going in with NYX's concealer in the color nutmeg. Let me tell you guys. I love this concealer. For the longest, I was using my black opal stick. I still love that. But I was forever trying to find another concealer that works. I love this one. It's lightweight. When you blend it out, literally, it blends so easily. It just like melts into my skin. It like melts into my skin. My pores and everything literally is like they just disappear with this door concealer. I wish I had tried it out a long time ago, but now that I have it, I love it. I have the shade Nutmeg. It gives me a really, again, a really natural look highlight. I do plan on buying one shade lighter just to see, you know, just to brighten up the highlight a little bit. Um, but for this routine, you know, keeping it really fresh face, natural looking makeup, basically like skin-like makeup, I love it. You see, did you see how that blended out? Just... It's like flawless, like literally, it just it just blends without even setting it. It looks fabulous, like it gives like a nice natural glow to your face. So enough about that. Next concealer. Going in next with my black radiant stick in the shade dark. Just gonna smack that into the hollows, contouring my nose. And yes, I know I didn't put any concealer, the lighter color on my nose, but this particular look is basically using minimal amount of product to still get a really nice fresh face. So, um, by me still contouring my nose, it's automatically still going to bring that little part out, even though I did technically highlight it with the concealer. Just put a little bit of that around the out, outer perimeter of my face, you know, just so we can all blend in overall. Using my fingers to blend out that nose contour. And then I'm going to blend out the hollows of my cheeks some more. Um, I went in with the Beauty Blender. I'm going in with the e.l.f. contour brush, a flatter brush, just to blend that out some more. And then I'm actually going to go in um, with my e.l.f. foundation brush to blend it even more. Because again, even though it's two distinctly different colors, you want it to flow. Um, my skin again it my skin naturally is darker right there so i just follow it but i still don't want it to look like i just drew two lines on the side of my face you don't want it to look like that so blend 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 that is the key blend 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 and i didn't mention it but i did wet um the beauty blenders i sprayed them all this brush i always wet them before going in with product Radiant Soft Focus Finishing Powder in the shade Creamy Bronze to set my highlight. It's very lightweight, using minimal product. Um, but it gives me just a really nice finish. Um, something new I purchased, BH Studio Pro Matte Finish Press Powder. I got it in two shades, 250 and 255. I use my e.l.f. Uh, the foundation brush or the e.l.f. powder brush and I literally just dab between the two and I'm kind of just buffing that into the lower portion of my face right underneath my contour around my mouth that lower half I use a mixture of the two 
right in the middle I just dabbed a little bit of the lighter shade 250 going in with the darker shade now to get the perimeter and blend everything in and I really just like the way it looks um you know sometimes I really don't always feel like going in with a liquid foundation or BB cream which is what I typically use um I don't feel like doing all of that I just want something quick simple and this routine um is something that I really like so now I'm going in with um one of my faves L contouring um blush and bronzer duo in the shade Antigua and I really just use that deeper shade to um, carve out the hollows of my cheeks, carve out my cheekbones. It does have a shimmer to it, so I don't take it around the perimeter of my face. Um, but this Black Radiance Powder and Cafe, I use that all over. So I go back in to carve out my cheekbones some more. Um, and I kind of bring that upwards, my cheek area, because I have really, really big cheeks and high cheekbones. So I kind of really like to just accentuate that. And I'm using another brush to go in and just contour my nose with that same cafe shade. And as you can see, like even though I didn't put any concealer on my nose because I still contoured it, it brings out my nose still. Like my nose still looks nice and chiseled. So that's a little trick I do. Again, minimal product. So now I'm going in with um, my blush. These are my two favorites, it's basically Everyday Blush, Max Amber and Rose, and NYX's Cinnamon. Just to give my cheeks a nice natural flush of color. I really love this combination. And it's so crazy because I used to think I didn't like blush, and then when I started wearing blush, I was like, ugh, I love this stuff. And this is the e.l.f. Healthy Glow bronzing powder and we're in tan taking a small precision brush and dabbing that into my inner tear ducts this just makes your eyes look that much brighter it's like a pop brightens up your eyes even more I'm gonna take a little bit of it along my lash line by all means um, you can add more color to your lash line if you want to I really don't do that much. <laughs> I'll film some tutorials where I do do it. Um, but I don't really put much down there because again with the contacts, my eyes get watery sometimes. Um, so I don't really put too much down there, but feel free. But I'm just dragging this highlight shade in just to open up my eyes. I'm gonna take that same highlighter. Well, they call it a bronzer, but I use it as a highlight and use it along my nose. And this is gonna make my nose pop. Um, I love highlighter. Love, 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 love. So I'm putting it down the bridge of my nose on my cupid's bow. And then I'm gonna go in with my Missy Lynn palette, take a combination of those two golds and pop it right on my cheekbones. Honey, 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 honey. You see that? You see that one? Ladies. You don't want to shine bright like a diamond. You don't have to, but I do. I like to shine, shine, shine. Like Jesus himself is shining on me, <laughs> okay? So you can go as heavy as you like. You can go as light as you like. Um, I just love that look. So layer on the highlighter, finishing it all off with the matte setting spray just so everything can just flow seamlessly together. I always use a finishing spray, satin spray. Always, 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 especially with the powder because it's basically gonna make it not look like powder and make it look like it just blends, like it's your skin. And I love that look. Like, obviously, you know, with the blush and the highlighter, nobody shines like that naturally. I shouldn't say nobody, but most people's skin doesn't glow like that. But I love it when people are like, oh, do you have makeup on or you just have good skin? Like that's, to me, that means I've done a really good job if you think I just have good skin. <laughs> so now for the lips. Um, this is just a random brown beauty supply store um, lip liner. 
probably the brand NK. Lining my lips. I don't really overline. Uh, my lips are big enough as, as it is. So I just outline them just so that the color can kind of stay put. You don't get that ring around your mouth looking like you're ashy. That's a good one. Then I'm going in with my Missy Lynn matte lipstick in the color Missy Lynn. It's a beautiful, beautiful brown shade. Beautiful. And basically this look that I'm going for is almost like an ombre type of nude lip. Taking the brown just around the outer perimeter of my lips. Um, and you could have, I mean, I could have just used the pencil and covered it all in, but since I have this lipstick and this beautiful shade, I figured why not use this? Using my fingers to blend it out. If you have a brush, you know, a lip brush, by all means, be fancy and use that, but I love to use my fingers. Using this NYX Soft Matte, Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Stockholm. I don't know if I said that right, but that's the shade. I have it listed below. Dabbing this into the middle and working it into that outer um, brown shade that I have. And you know, you can basically build this up as you like. It took me a while to find a nude that I really liked because um, I didn't want my lips to look ashy. Um, so it took me a while, but I'm, I'm loving this combo. So I'm putting that in the middle, blending it in. Um, so you can leave it like that, you know, a complete matte look. Um, but I'm going to add just a little bit of gloss on top of it. Um, just so, you know, I have glitter on the eyes. So why not add a little lip gloss too? And this is another NYX gloss in the shade Creme Brulee, but this is a butter gloss. And we're just taping, taking a dab of that right in the middle of my lips again and blending it in. And that, my friends, is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope it was helpful. If you liked it, definitely thumbs up this video. If you have any questions, comments, leave them below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. And until next time, guys, take it easy.